What's up everybody? So we're back with another build video. Let me cut and turn off that loud noise. But anyways, so we got a three toed box turtle and it's uh, been thriving in a 20 gallon long here for the past, I'd say month now. And it was in pretty rough condition when we first got it. It was only eating, you know, crackers and tomatoes and that was it. it had no, you know, UV light set up, you know, nothing. It was just in a tortoise enclosure, which you'll see later on in the video that is not fit for a box turtle. So today we're gonna be building a bioactive box turtle enclosure for my three-toed buddy and uh, here it is. First, buy a bucket or a uh, the biggest container you can find at uh, your local hardware store. Hardware store. I went to Home Depot and got this puppy for 30 bucks. So uh, yeah, put that puppy right underneath and let's fill it up with some uh, substrate. Here I got the, it's actually an organic, soil and mulch blend so I'm just gonna throw this in and I'm gonna mix in some uh, uh, what's it called moss I forgot peat moss uh, I'm gonna mix it in with that and uh, we are gonna be building hopefully a little water area so we'll get we'll get we'll see what I get set up and I'll show you guys when I'm done so I decided I wanted a pretty big aquatic section in this area we're in this uh, tub so that uh, I can maybe add some fish or something for him to hunt and uh, he can soak whenever he wants and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, instead of adding the peat moss in this layer, I went ahead and added some pea gravel, not peat moss, pea gravel. Okay, just want to make that clear. Um, because I wanted you know, to keep it loose and not get it so compact. Uh, I wanted to be able to, the water to flow through here a little easier. Um, not much, but it, it, it's all throughout this. And um, what I'm gonna end up doing is pouring another layer of the mulch soil in, add the peat moss, mix it that in and this side right here. And then I'm gonna do a heavy layer of uh, pea gravel and then uh, maybe sand to keep all these uh, keep all the soil down and nutrients in because I'll, I'll be probably adding some aquatic plants in here as well I went ahead and uh, set up the filter put some rocks in there and uh, I put a bunch of pea gravel in front of the filter um, intake and then I topped it off with sand so that uh, it locks in all the nutrients and stuff, but uh, it can still um, intake all of that uh, water because it's it's pretty thin. Um, but then I also, you know, don't want to water this soil leaching into the water. I want to keep it out as much as possible. So I threw some of that pea or really smooth pea gravel in. Um, the other pea gravel I threw in was pretty coarse, so this is very smooth for the turtle. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna scratch them up or nothing. And then I also threw in a wood hide for him. So, you know, this is very thick. So he can dig wherever he he wants to. He can bury himself wherever he wants to. But I put this in here so that uh, I'm going to just kind of put some dirt in front of it and see if he just digs into here himself and hides because this would be a good place for him. Nice and structural, especially with the water in here. Um, but then I, I dig went ahead and got a bunch of plants that I'm gonna put in here some so I got strawberries right there and then I also have some parsley I grabbed uh, uh, a couple other things so I'll, I'll go ahead and grab those things from the car and show you guys so I'll be planting in this uh, tub some a strawberry plant I got uh, some romaine lettuce uh this one is a parsley plant and also some kale uh, and then i think i'm gonna throw some duckweed in the part where he's gonna or in the aquatic section um i'm not too sure how deep it's gonna be yet but we're gonna go ahead and fill 
up the water right now and figure that out because I want him to be able to, you know, hide in there and soak in it and I'll probably put some leaf litter in there and such. So we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up, I'll plant these plants and... So here's what I've done so far. I uh, have some red mangrove trees planted in here. Um, I've been having trouble keeping the water in the water area it just comes off into here which is fine with uh, you know it's what i want because you know ultimately it's going to keep the humidity up and then all these plants will just suck in all the water um you know, you know it'll cycle through but um for these plants they can't they'll get root rot and i don't want that to happen so uh i need the water to stay in this area a little better so what i went ahead and did is i mixed a good amount like 25 pounds of sand maybe like 20 pounds of sand and with the soil and uh you know push down really hard to make it all tight and you know the the tub or since i'm using a tote it does cave out but that's totally fine i mean it's hefty duty it's not like it's gonna you know or i hope that it's not gonna break um but since i uh put the sand in uh it's been quite a while and the water level has stayed that um, where it's at right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill a, or I'm gonna put some more sand down all around here. Um, go ahead and put some more gravel in and then uh, fill it back up and see how well it works. Uh, I'll probably end up waiting like 30 minutes before I uh, do anything else just to make sure that the water is somewhat staying so before I spread this all out, as you can see, I put a thick layer of sand under here, and then I'm just gonna about to spread out this soil uh, again so that the, the turtle can dig all throughout this and not have to worry about running into here or as much. I might mix it a little bit into this, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's definitely, I don't know, I hope it works. And I think I am successful. I haven't planted the plants in here yet, but uh, I put a bunch of pea, pea moss up in there. Um, and I mean, it goes down a few inches uh, all around in there. And then uh, here's the water. It's pretty dirty because I filled it up quite a bit and I'm just letting it sit and see where it settles. Uh, I want to turn on the filter soon and get the waterfall going, but... Uh, just gotta wait and see when uh, where, where the water settles and how it all you know comes together but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plant the plants right now <laughs> For the most part, I uh, need to go buy another lamp for my uh, heat bulb that I got. I have a full spectrum light right there um, to grow all these beautiful plants and you know give them all the UV rays that he needs. And uh, I think he's really gonna enjoy it. Being able to swim. It is a little murky right now. Um, the filter will cycle it through and get it all going. I got uh, some really big frog bit and tons of duckweed, and then I got a bunch of duck, uh, guppy grass up in there, right there, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, it's working out. I think it uh, looks really cool, actually. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the, this little, little guy in here and you guys let me know in the comments what type of box turtle you think it is because I have no idea but either way he's gonna love his new enclosure so let's go get him this is currently what he's in right now um, it's a pretty good enclosure it's just you know for a box turtle it's not you know uh, as you could see I could do something better um, 
I am think or my friend really wants to get rid of his desert tortoise, so uh, I'm thinking about uh, helping him out and rescuing the little fella. And I might use this for the desert tortoise because I mean they only get up to 12 inches, and I think this would be good for winter. Uh, let's get this little fella out into his new home. Using my head right now to do that. So this is what he looks like. Here's his shell. Looks like he's got a little bit of pyramiding going on. Pyramiding and uh, all that red that you're seeing on his face, that's from him eating tomatoes, I'm pretty sure. But we're about to see after he takes a little soap. Let's put him in his new habitat. See what he does. Put him over here by the water. He's like, what the heck? He probably never had nothing like this before. starts to move around and we'll see what he ends up doing but uh we'll let him settle in for right now and i hope uh yeah so I'll, I'll i'll get back to you guys when he starts moving around all right so he literally just went from there all the way up and climbed up here he's just exploring i think he likes his new little home I mean, I would if I was a box turtle. I think this is a pretty cool little tub. I mean, I call this successful. He has a place to soak if he wants to. You know, he's got all different elevations. He can climb up into here. And, you know, this is, I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but it's sloped. He has to climb all the way up. And then you can climb all the way up over here and that's where he is now. Oh, he's starting to dig a little bit high for me. That's so cool. I did go ahead and put some warmer water in here. That's why it got even more murkier. Um, but that's going to clear right up. See how fast it's already clearing up. I think the waterfall looks pretty cool. I actually got this volcanic rock for free off of uh, this lady from Facebook. Um, this bin costs you know, $30 at Home Depot. Got all these plants for uh, five bucks. And uh, this guy um, around where I live was selling these uh, red mangrove trees for just a couple dollars each. And uh, you know, this right here I already had or it came with him um, when I rescued him. So, uh, and even the filter that was given to me uh, by a, a lady when I rescued uh, her turtle. So, you know, a lot of this stuff I already had, but you know, I had to get all the mulch and and the sand and the pea gravel and all of that stuff. So, in total, it cost less than a hundred dollars, and I think this looks amazing for less than a hundred dollars. He likes his new little spot. He's gonna love it when he gets a heat bulb right there and he can just go up there and bask all day. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and watching me build this uh, amazing cheap box turtle enclosure. And uh, I hope you guys uh, like, subscribe, turn on that post notifications for future videos and you guys have a good rest of your day.